Yeah, in sports where it's um, equivalency scholarships, meaning that they can break it up into percentages and offer you that and then add two uh, merit scholarships. Swimming is one of those equivalency sports. You can do both. You can have both an academic scholarship and part of a swimming scholarship. Um, that was actually a tactic of mine as a recruiting coordinator at the division one level for swimming and diving was to identify and evaluate the athletes that were doing well in the classroom, primarily because sometimes I was at a division one program where we weren't fully funded, meaning we didn't have the maximum number of scholarships allowed to us by the NCAA. Now we were still in competition with other division one schools that were fully funded. They might've had twice the number of swimming scholarships that I had to give out. So part of me for a t as a tactic in recruitment was to find the kids that did well in the classroom, had good grades, good test scores, then I could actually go to our admissions department, to the financial aid department and say, hey, we're very interested in this student athlete. Can you do somewhat of a pre-read on this athlete and tell me what kind of merit scholarship they may be looking at for having these good grades and good test scores? So, you know, out of the tens of thousands of athletes that I could be recruiting through NCSA's network, I could set bottom line parameters for ACT, SAT score and GPA. Right. So I'm actively out here looking for athletes that not, not only can compete for me, are going to help me build a championship you know, roster team for a conference or NCAA qualifiers. I'm looking for those kids that are going to earn some merit money to be able to add to potentially some swimming scholarship as well. So, yes, absolutely. As you have those conversations with the coach, say, hey, you know, I'm trying to figure out my finances for next year. Will I be eligible for any scholarship? Um, that coach can either tease out for you the merit side of scholarship, how you're going to do academically, but also with the swimming side of scholarship and then add those things together, right? So do not, I mean, Kyle, we know that your best route to getting some money to, to go play sports in college is through good grades and good test scores. Swimming absolutely falls in that category and finding uh, athletes with good grades and good test scores is a primary um it's a tactic for college coaches. Yeah, absolutely. The the scholarships, they're they're fungible and that they, they can be used towards anything. Essentially, a school, they're gonna bundle all everything of what you owe, tuition, books, housing, uh, you name it, food, food plans. Uh, they're gonna bundle that all together and you say you have this much scholarship money toward that, which is fungible and that can be used towards any piece of it. You'll have this much left over is what you have to pay. In in my instance, um, I had a full ride scholarship to play baseball at the University of New Mexico. Um, pr probably at least half or more of that was academic scholarship money that was used toward all those same funds. So that's that's usually what people will do, what, what universities will do. The coaches will talk through that with you. The admissions department, they'll talk through that with you. And essentially, they'll say, this is what you have left over that you have to pay. It's not necessarily going to be specifically for tuition or housing. It, it may be, but it's going to be kind of fungible that it that it applies to whatever's left over for uh, what your scholarship doesn't cover. But yeah, academics, keep your grades up and get noticed as a recruit. And, and coaches will love you because they're going to be able to use academic scholarship money toward you coming to that school to play that sport. They can do that. Um, whereas they don't have unlimited athletic scholarship money to give out to a student athlete. So be, be a good student athlete, be a good student get noticed and they'll be able to help you out on all those fronts. Um, that's the best way of going, going about it for sure. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Click our logo to subscribe to our channel and check out the other videos on our page for all things recruiting.